People come up to me all the time and say, Trevor, how did you learn to crush it so hard? I always give them the same answer. Mr. Ronnie Chang. In hashtag crushing a success podcast for winners, Ronnie will give you the motivation, the life hacks, and the FDA pending dietary supplements that you need to live epically. Testing, testing. Diabetes is a mindset and a hoax. Test one, two. What's up, Chang Gang? Your boy Ryan Chang here with another episode of Hashtag Crushing, a success podcast for winners. A lot of people ask me, hey, Ronnie, how can I crush it as hard as you're crushing it? The answer is, you can't. I'm crushing it harder than scientists thought possible. I've written 13 books, delivered 28 TED Talks, and I follow 58,000 people on Twitter. I post over 400 inspirational quotes a day on Instagram, and I own over 4,000 t-shirts from Ed Hardy. I'm a non-stop dynamo of epic winning, okay? I'm like Elon Musk without the weird anime fetish. Fuck you, Elon. Money bomb. But hey, if you listen to this PCAST and follow my advice, maybe you too can ride this cross train to crush town. And the train conductor is Jeremy Piven. All right, I'm ready to pound. Let's start the show. Success, money, Instagram, AirPods, bacon. Whoa! I'm still buzzing, you guys. I just delivered the keynote at a Power Thought Summit presented by Forbes and Lean Cuisine. In fact, if you're interested, you can stream my speech right now. It's titled, Why Every Entrepreneur Should Try Huffing Spray Paint. Check that out on YouTube or catch me at my next live event, pumping up the crowd at a winter assembly for Pembroke Middle School. Mrs. Goldstein's class is going to be singing Christmas carols, and I'm going to be shooting Red Bulls out of a t-shirt cannon. Oh, hell yeah. You know what that means. It's time for the cleanse report. Right now, I'm uh, doing a solids and liquids cleanse. I'm not eating or drinking any solids or liquids for two weeks. I mean, for breakfast, I had some vape smoke. And uh, for lunch, uh, I think I'm going to suck the helium of a balloon animal. I got to tell you, thanks to this cleanse, hey, my energy is up, my blood pressure is down, and my motor skills are shot. If any of that sounds appealing to you, why don't you check out my website, ronniechang.proteinpowder. I've got exclusive recipes and an interview with Ashton Kutcher. That's a Ronnie bomb! All right, I'm jacked! Let's take some calls. If you got a question about anything, entrepreneurship, muscle mass, manscaping... Dial 859-EPIC-BRO right now. If the line is busy, dial harder. It's crush hour. All right, we got a call on the line. It's James from Danbury, Connecticut. Hello, James. Hi, Ronnie. Long time fan. Of course you are. I'm an alpha's alpha. I'm an alfalfa. Um, so I'm about to be a college freshman and I want to become a doctor. Uh, I'm thinking like neurosurgeon maybe. Do you have any advice for how I can make that happen? James, I do have some advice. And that advice is don't go to college, bro. Student debt is for suckers. You can learn everything you would in medical school by purchasing a corpse on the dark web. You buy the corpse, you cut it open, you poke around inside, and hey, you'll be ready to operate on live humans after four to five corpses. No debt required. That said, you should pledge a frat. Next caller. Hey, Ronnie, this is Mike from Staten Island. What's up, Mike from Staten Island? How can I improve your life today? I want to be an Instagram influencer. Right now, I have 200 followers, mostly high school friends. How can I gain more? Okay, I get this a lot. The answer is simple. Instagram loves sex appeal and it loves travel. So, I always tell people, quit your job and become a pirate. Go somewhere sexy like Somalia, your Instagram will explode. Trust me, bro. Oh, uh, okay. Um, is there a way I can gain Instagram followers without becoming a pirate? No. Bro, you, are you kidding me? I just gave you advice that's worth like a billion dollars. Get off the phone and go on the next flight to Mogadishu, okay? I've had enough of you. Next caller. Oh, hello? 911. My, my, my husband, he's gripping at his chest. I think he's having a heart attack. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, some context for our listeners. I recently got a life hack from Post Malone. You pay a guy at a phone company to redirect 911 calls to your personal line. Hello? Instant growth hack. Hello, is this 911? My husband is in real pain. 
<laughs> wow, it sounds like he's really suffering from a bad, bad attitude. attitude. That's a funny bone. I don't, I don't know how I got connected to you, but please send an ambulance. I don't think he's going to make it. Oh, pff, you're definitely not with that negativity. Don't hate job create. Okay, next caller. Mr. Chang. This is Agent Jim Peterson again with the Internal Revenue Service. I okay, that was a wrong number. Uh, you know, I've got a lot of haters at the IRS because of how successful I've been. Like, seriously, I'm the Mother Teresa of giving vibes and the Wesley Snipes of paying taxes. All right, next caller is Ryan from Nashville. What's up, buddy? Hey, man, I just finished reading your book. Nice. Thank you so much. For those who don't know, my new book, The Success Virus, How to Infect Yourself with Winning, is in stores now. It's 220 pages of pure knowledge. Yeah, about that. The first 20 pages were just photos of you at Planet Fitness, and then the last 200 pages were just a knockoff of the Babysitter's Club. Hey, don't knock the Teenage Child Care Society. I'm in talks with Disney Plus to make it into a miniseries. There was no advice in the book at all. I want my money back. Yeah, and I want my former assistants to stop telling people I have a lifetime ban from Jiffy Lube. But we don't always get what we want. We get what we crush. <laughs> Let's crush an ad break right now. And when we're back, we we'll have my special guest, Daily Show correspondent Roy, Roy Wood, Wood Jr. Jr. And I'm gonna ask him if he's ever snorted dog tranquilizers. Woo! Today's episode is sponsored by Dr. Manhood's Tissues for Men. Are you tired of girly tissues that look like they were designed by Nancy Myers, director of Something's Gotta Give and The Holiday, or whatever those are? Then you need Dr. Manhood's Tissues for Men. They're 100% testosterone fueled badass tissues for jacked up bros. They're just like regular tissues, except they come in a black box with flames, flames on the side. side. You wanna wear ladies' clothes or vote for a female politician? And why are you blowing your nose with a woman's Kleenex? Dr. Manhood's Tissues for Men. Don't blow your nose, bro your nose. Today's episode of Hashtag Crushing is brought to you by Ronnie Chang's Cursed Healing Crystals. Listen bros, these crystals will change your life. I recently mowed down a witch with my Tesla, and when I went to go check for the body, all that was there was a burlap sack filled with these crystals. Now I'm selling them to you for literally any amount of money. Please, I need them out of my house. I just tried to throw them in a river, but when I got back to my place, there was more of them. Ronnie Chang's Curse Healing Crystals. Oh god, they're glowing again. All right, we're back, and we're joined now by a legendary guest. He's a correspondent on The Daily Show with Trevor Noah, and he looks like he could bench, I don't know, 230, 240? That's right. Uh, Roy Wood Jr. is here. I actually, I think I can bench press like 175 last I tried. Okay, well, that's pretty weak. What is that smell? It's deer carcass. Roy, you are crushing it. Well, thanks, man. You're crushing it too, Ronnie. Yeah, I know. It's it's actually a problem how hard I'm crushing it. It's starting to affect the people around me and the people I love. Uh, Roy, let me let me ask you something. Uh, you're like a stand-up comedian, right? A lot of nights on the road, lonely. Yeah. How do you stay emotionally connected to your loved ones while maintaining focus on your career? I think the important thing when you're traveling is to take something from home on the road. I'm just kidding. No one cares about that shit. Here's my first real question. Hey, you ever done DMT? Uh, no. You ever inject horse platelets? I don't even know what that is. You ever freebase the stuff inside glow sticks? I'm not into that ronnie i just can we just talk about some of the stuff i'm working on i got a web series oh, for yeah yeah, yeah sure 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 the, but before that Roy, Roy, let me just ask you you ever take lsd and have a threesome inside an aquarium you just got chang bang you know what ronnie i'm gonna just answer a question about travel okay all right all right okay okay all right fine can I answer the travel question okay fine go ahead but you mind if i crank out some chin-ups while you talk fine do whatever you need to do man look when i'm on the road I do my best to make sure Three, that my family is my number four. one priority. I FaceTime with my son. I try to make sure that my son knows that I love him. So I FaceTime with him. Every night. Pain is just weakness exiting the body. So for me, it comes down to one question when I'm looking at what gigs to take. Will this opportunity negatively affect my family life? Because I have to consider how many days I'm going to miss my for family. Sure. For sure, man. Great, great. I did 300 chin-ups, by the way. Not sure if you noticed me over there just pulling up, just just ripping metal. 
So I gotta ask, you doing no pee November? What the hell is no pee November? It's where you don't urinate for an entire month of November. I'm doing it. It's sick. Ronnie, November was last year. Dude, November's a state of mind. Is that like no nut November where you don't masturbate to? It's like that because it involves the penis. But instead of nutting, it's urine. So you haven't peed for an entire month. That's right. The only pee I'm into is P90X. It's a powerful word because it's got numbers and letters in it. Speaking of power, you ever eat a bald eagle? They're an endangered species. Why would I eat an Patriotism, eagle? Patriotism, bro. I eat bald eagle and I feel America coursing through my Why veins. Why would you even buy a bald eagle? No, I Okay, so I was eagle. watching your last standout special. Very funny stuff, by the way. Appreciate that. Thanks. I especially love the part where you talk about the nutritional benefits of elk meat. I... Are you sure that was me you were watching? I didn't talk about elk in my special. I didn't talk about elk meat. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'm confused because I watched it on 10x speed. Finished the whole hour in six minutes. Anyway, you ever do an elk binge? It's where you kill an elk and you have 72 hours to eat the entire thing, including the bones. It's how cavemen lived. Cavemen also had an average lifespan of 17 years. They didn't have Tesla's or podcasts. They didn't even speak English. That's a really good point. Elk meat is really lean and dense in nutrients. It, it, feels, it feels like I'm saying things, and then you're just hearing words completely different from the words I'm saying. Like, <laughs> totally. That was so 90s. You know, all right. Can I, can I ask you a question? Shoot. Why are you like this? Why are you obsessed with cavemen fitness routines, masculine diet fads, and drugs inside of glow sticks and e eagle jerky? What happened to you? What made you this way? Wow, no one's ever asked me that before. Uh, actually, you know what? I, I don't know if I can talk about this. No, 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 no. You can. You can, man. You can just share. <sighs> okay, well, um, ever since I was a teenager, I knew I was different. Uh, I was rebellious, and um, I fell in with the wrong crowd. I got into fast cars, extreme sports, trusty women. Okay, but that's, that's pretty on par for it. A young guy, that's normal. Then one day my life changed. The government needed my extreme sports expertise to infiltrate a Russian terrorist cell in Central Europe. Okay, but hold up. Please, Roy, let me get through this. The terrorist group known as Anarchy 99 had acquired a biochemical weapon, and there was only one way to disarm the missile, using my extreme sports capabilities and racing cars through the streets of Prague. Wait, so Anarchy 99? Yeah. And you're sure that was the name of the terrorist group? Yeah. Okay, that's just the plot to Triple X. That was Vin Diesel who did all that. You didn't do that shit. Yeah, they based that movie on me. You're full of shit. Nah, man, I'm full of urine. No pee November, remember? I'm gonna go, man. This is weird. Well, the doors are locked from the outside, so that's not happening. Okay, that's another episode of Hashtag Crushing, a success podcast for winners. Can, can I at least plug my website? I hope you learn some new ways to hack your way through the jungle we call life. <laughs> Thanks to my guest, Ray Woods Jr. Did that dish just move? Thanks, everyone. I gotta go do CrossFit with the founder of WeWork. We're best friends. Until next time, keep crushing that shit. Woo! This episode is brought to you by Legal Zoo. Did you commit a crime at a zoo? For example, try to steal a goat? Then you need Legal Zoo the premier portal for attorneys practicing zoo law. Last year, I was charged with public intoxication in the Hall of Birds. It was total BS, but a lawyer from Legal Zoo helped me bribe the judge and get out of community service. Legal Zoo, for when you're actually going to kangaroo court. Today's episode of Hashtag Crushing is brought to you by Mantress, the mattress made specifically for bros. Are you worried that sleeping is ruining your physique? Are all those hours you have to spend in bed making your pecs as soft as pillows? Well then you need Mantras. It's the only mattress that spews pure testosterone juice into your mouth while you sleep. Plus, if you use the promo code SHAFT, Mantras will throw in a free set of leather sheets. Bro, if you haven't slept on leather, you haven't slept. Mantras, crush your, your dreams. dreams.